right, folks, we're here in Canopolis, North Carolina at Center Grove Lutheran Cemetery. I come here to do one of NASCAR's uh, iconic, most iconic, most famous um, graves. I want to bring y'all here and show y'all this. And when coming up here, I was looking for things to do, and this definitely popped off whenever I was looking for famous graves. Everywhere I looked, this was on the top three on the list. So I'm going to walk y'all around the cemetery and I'm going to show you all the grave of uh, Ralph Earnhardt. And everybody knows the name. When you think about racing, racing and Earnhardt are like peanut butter and jelly. You know what I'm saying? And I think Ralph was, uh, Ralph kind of began that name for them. Anyways, we're going to walk around. I'm going to show you all some of the uh, beautiful uh, graves. And this, this the landscape here is just, just really nice. This place is well taken care of. And um, it's an old cemetery, you can tell. So I'm gonna walk around and show y'all that. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story. Y'all hang tight. This video I'm doing a little bit different. Normally I just do the person's accolades. I've found a little story here and I wanna kinda of get into this and tell you a little story about Ralph and Dell and kind of uh, leave a little mark on that. So I hope y'all enjoy this. Behind most successful NASCAR drivers is a father that showed them the ropes back in the early days, kind of showed them the way. That ultimately is why it's a shame that the father of Dale Earnhardt Sr., Ralph Lee Earnhardt, never actually got to see Dale at his height and the legend in the motorsports that he became. As a stock car racer himself, Ralph knew a thing or two about racing. He passed on his knowledge to Dale. Ralph was also grandfather to Carrie, Kelly, Taylor, and Dale Jr. Also, he was the great-grandfather of Bobby Dale and Jeffrey Earnhardt. Ralph's choices in his own career helped distinguish the Earnhardt name in racing and transform it into the legendary status that it has today. Ralph was born in Canopolis, North Carolina. He spent many of his early years manual labor, working in cotton mills, things like that. He began his racing career at the dirt tracks in 1949, and by 1953, he became a full-time race car driver. He was known for keeping his cars in tip-top condition. Everything was done to T perfection. Now at that time, being a full-time driver was one of the only ways he saw to separate himself from what he considered poor living. By 1956, he had taken home the NASCAR Sportsman Championship while also finishing as a runner-up the previous year and third in 1957. He finished second at his first race in the NASCAR Grand National Series at Hickory Speedway. By 1961, he also doubled as a relief driver for Cotton Owens in the Daytona 500. Ralph became the reigning South Carolina state champion and took home track championship wins at both Greenville Pickens Speedway and Columbia Speedway in 1967. In 1961, he had his highest finish in the Grand National point standings when he placed 17th. He also was the first car builder slash driver to understand the use and to use tire staggering. He actually had the chance to race against Dell Sr. in 1971 where they raced at Metrolina Speedway and tragically, they wouldn't know it then, but this would be the only chance they would ever have to race against one another as competitors. On September 26, 1973, while working on a carburetor at his kitchen table, Ralph Earnhardt suffered a heart attack and died. He was only 45 years old. Ralph's death occurred just two years before Dale began his stock car racing career. And I think we would all agree that the passion that Ralph had for driving was definitely passed on to Dale Sr. Ralph achieved numerous awards in racing, included being named one of NASCAR's 50 greatest drivers. He was also inducted into the National Motorsports Press Association Hall of Fame, the International Motorsports Hall of Fame, the Oceanside Rotary Club of Daytona Beach Stock Car Racing Hall of Fame, and the National Dirt Late Model Hall of Fame. During a six-year span in the NASCAR Cup Series, Ralph ran 51 races. Ralph was extremely competitive on the raceway, but sadly his career was cut short by unexpected health issues.
but because Ralph Earnhardt helped introduce his son to NASCAR, Dell Sr. returned the favor by bringing home 350 total wins in various series that he competed in, as well as seven Cup Series titles. I think it's safe to say, and I think we all would agree, that Ralph would be pretty darn proud of Dell Sr. and what he was able to achieve in his lifetime. Alright folks, that's going to wrap the video up today. Ralph Earnhardt, you know, when you come to Mooresville area, how can you not come here and see him if you're a blogger like me that does graves? I mean, it's one of the, when you type in, you know, famous graves in this area, almost every time uh, he's one of the top two or three that pops up. So I hope this uh, video doesn't cross anybody the wrong way. I know these people have loved ones and I'm trying to respect that and show honor to them. As fans, we love them also. And uh, you know, what a dad. What a friend, what a father, all those things, man. This guy was, can you imagine, you know, some of y'all old timers, man, y'all remember seeing this guy run back in the day. Can you imagine as an NASCAR fan watching this guy race and all the different areas he raced in, not just NASCAR and stuff. So anyways, I'm going to get off here and stop rambling. Thank y'all for coming to watch the video today. Like, share, and subscribe. That's how y'all can give me credit. That's how y'all can say thank you. Leave a comment and uh, let me know what y'all think. All right, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.